Yield four minutes to my good friend, the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Fitzpatrick. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, uh, I join with my bipartisan colleagues here uh, to proclaim that animal abuse is unacceptable and must end, which is why we are all proud to be uh, supporters uh, and many of us original co-sponsors of the PACT Act because it strengthens federal law regarding animal cruelty. And was previously mentioned, uh, the Animal Crush Video Act of 2010 banned the creation and distribution of these despicable videos. However, it did not make the actual animal abuse itself a crime. The Bipartisan Pact Act goes a step further and outlaws this malicious animal cruelty regardless of the presence of video evidence. And Mr. Speaker, as a former FBI agent, my agency's profiling studies demonstrated uh, how violence against animals is a precursor to human violence. And that's why we're fighting aggressively against egregious animal cruelty and in why it is so important. And law enforcement, including the FOP, uh, strongly supports this legislation because it provides another tool for them to use for animal abuse cases that might otherwise go unprosecuted. More than 100 law enforcement agencies and organizations across our country have endorsed the PACT Act. We must come together and stand up for innocent, defenseless animals, which is why there are over 300, in fact, 301 to be exact, co-sponsors, both Democrat and Republican, on this bill. I commend Sem Senator Toomey, uh, our colleague from Pennsylvania for introducing the companion bill in the Senate. We must pass the PACT Act as soon as possible so that it can be signed into law and we must make sure that this type of animal abuse no longer happens. Together we will end all types of animal cruelty and we will continue to be a voice for the voiceless. I yield back.